The most legendary coach in New Mexico State Aggie history, Lou Henson, died last year at the age of 88. He's the all-time winningest coach in school history. But right behind him, no questioning that number two in terms of success, Neil McCarthy. Today, McCarthy passing away at the age of 81. If you followed the Aggies in the 1990s, you knew all about Coach McCarthy, who led NMSU to four straight Big West tournament titles and four straight NCAA tournaments from 1990 to 1994. His best team was that 92 squad, which went all the way to the Sweet 16, which was the Aggies' deepest run in the tournament since that 1970 Final Four team coached by Lou Henson. Now, McCarthy is a member of New Mexico State's Hall of Fame for his efforts but he was abruptly fired just weeks before the start of practice for the 97-98 season with then athletic director Jim Paul citing that McCarthy prior prioritized basketball over academics. But today, I spoke with one of his former and one of his best players, that'd be William Benjamin, a part of that Sweet 16 team. And Benjamin's memories tell the opposite of what led to McCarthy's departure. He told my aunt and he told my mama that he was going to make sure I graduated and he meant that. You know, and, and so, uh, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a special ed kid out of L.A., you know, so, so uh, I, I was struggling trying to pass that SAT test. And um, a lot of schools dropped off of me um, when I didn't pass it the first couple of times. And I just remember Neil sticking with me, staying loyal to me, still giving me positive, uh, positive words of encouragement. And um, I finally passed the test. And then that's when the other schools jumped back on. And um Man, I stayed loyal to him because he stayed loyal to me. And of course, William Benjamin, now the head coach and educator himself at Las Cruces High School, a role he said McCarthy has played a valuable role in today.